Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Since SSDs have become the new standard for our PCs, we are going to talk about a brand that only some of you might remember, and that is Verbatim. Well, didn't they only make floppy disks and DVDs? Well, yes, but they have been around for over 50 years, giving us some amazing storage solutions, and now they have entered the competition of the modern era of SSDs. Verbatim was kind enough to send us their currently top of the line Verbatim VI3000 1TB Gen 3 NVMe SSD and we are really excited to check it out and see how good it is as compared to the other competitors similarly spec SSDs in terms of both price and performance. So let's check it out. The unboxing is gonna be quick. We have the small box for packaging and on opening it, we directly are greeted with the drive which we will get to later and some paperwork which we will not use as usual. Before we move to the numbers, let's see what the SSD is made of on paper. Verbatim's VI3000 1TB NVMe SSD is rated for transfer speeds up to 3GB per second for read and 2.9GB per second for write, which is according to Adder Dispatch. It is a DRAM-less SSD, so it's not going to be super fast, but hey, all the other competitors and their SSDs on the market are DRAM-less at the same price point this one comes for. We did have a spec sheet, so we know it has a Fizen controller, which is good news, as they make one of the best controllers on the market. Coming with a massive endurance up to 600TB, it is going to last you long, very long, so I'm sure you're not going to swap it with a new SSD anytime soon. Coming to the benchmarks, the SSD performs better than its at rated speeds and at disk bench, which is nice. For more real-world testing, we can see what the SSD will actually perform like with Crystal Disk Mark. It is not the fastest SSD when compared to the competition, but it is quite close, considering the price you would get it for, as it is not the best on the market, but certainly a great choice if you are upgrading to NVMe speeds for the first time. Wobatim has the same endurance as WD, but 3 times out of crucial, so even if it is a little slower, I would still prefer Wobatim hands down. This is a good sign if you are making content using large file sizes. The cost per GB graph is quite even, which keeps the SSD as a more moderate purchase. The temperatures were great, as the Wobatim SSD stayed the coolest even without a heatsink. Well then, you may ask us about the warranty since the brand is new. It is 5 years which is the same as all the other competitors on the market and they also have multiple service centers across India. So if you have any questions or issues with your drive, feel free to use this general number on the screen right now whenever you need it. I have been using the SSD for quite a while now, just over 4 months and I haven't experienced any issues with it. I've also done a lot of testing with it, so I can safely say that Verbatim's experience has paid off and it shows us how good the company has done by coming up with a product that already exists on the market and making it competitive for the other brands. Priced at just rupees 9000 INR, you get what you pay for and it is worth it. I would really like to see them come up with SSDs with DRAM which have even higher speeds and possibly Gen 4 SSDs as well. But for now, this is it for this short review. Please like, subscribe, share and I will catch you all in the next one.